Hello, welcome on this new lecture uh, again on Citrix 7.5 and let's uh, talk about, uh, not you and me, but about policies. <laughs> so what is policies? What are policies? Policies, of course, you know that normally if you are uh, managing Windows Server and Windows uh, Workstation. So policies are a set of parameters that define session, bandwidth, security management for group of users, device or connection type. Okay, this is more like a Citrix explanation, but of course you have all the Microsoft group policies who are not intended for Citrix. You have so much of them. So a Citrix local policies are created and maintained in the Citrix Studio console and stored in the site database. So this is very important. When you create policies in the Citrix Studio, they are stored in the site database. When you create group policies by the uh, GPMC, so the Group Policies Management Console, they're stored in Active Directory, not in Active Directory really. They are stored in Sysvol folder. Okay. So so and the Microsoft local policies are created in the Windows operating system and are stored locally in the registry. Because when you create Microsoft local policies, it's on the server. So be aware that Citrix policies must be created either in the uh, Active Directory or in the Studio, but not both at the same time. So let's do a small drawing about that. Going on my on my desktop here and going here, and let's create a new page and name it Policies. Policies. So. What is important to know with Citrix policies? So, in Citrix policies, we have the uh, group policies at the site level. We have also group policies at the domain level. And we have group policies at the OU level. And these policies are managed by the GPMC. So GPMC is the console you're using since so many years. After, we have the local policies. Local policies uh, is used by the local group policies and are applied on the server where you are. And you use uh, for that, of course, you know the name of the products is GP, uh, gpedit.msc. And after, we have policies created in the studio. So Citrix policies. And they are stored in the database. So never use in the same time the two of them, okay? You must really choose uh, which one, of course. Uh, you want to use. I suggest using the group policies, it's more simple. And in the group policies you can manage, of course, the Citrix policies engine. So, uh, what is the Citrix policies engine? Uh, the Citrix policy engine is that if you configure your Citrix policies via the GPMC, when you will go in the GPMC, you will not see any Citrix uh, tab. So you must add, okay, for that in the ISO, you have a way to add, of course, the, uh, the Citrix policies engine. And this is in the uh, installation media in the ISO, okay? So you just run it and after in the GPMC you can see the Citrix policies. This is very important. So remember that when you use the, the policies, uh, you have a, a lot of best practice. And, and I really want to pass a lot of time uh, for the best configuration because uh, often people ask me uh, what type of policies uh, can I can I can I create uh, in, in Citrix, um, and do you have a list of the best uh, configuration? Yes, I have, of course. 
and uh, so first of all I just wanted to tell you if you have in your uh, in your network Windows 90, 1903 Windows 10 okay 1903 so uh, 2019 and March uh, you must download the latest ADMX uh, from Microsoft website and copy them in the central store you know in the sysvol uh, here uh, you can find all the information about the the latest uh, Windows 10 uh, policies and really this is amazing why because when you download it he will install an Excel file and if I open it here oh let's open first Excel here so he doesn't want me to open Excel so it doesn't matter let's type Excel and oh there is something missing for my Excel file okay it doesn't matter you know what I'm gonna go directly on my on my laptop here and I'm gonna go here on uh, uh, I'm gonna go here directly on Google and uh, and type the name of this uh, of this file okay it doesn't matter so let's type this one here this thing and uh, this URL and we will access to this uh, to this uh, Excel okay so here's it uh, and with the, in this Excel file you will see all the policies for Windows 10 okay so I suggest that you open it to be sure that you have the right ADMX and to see all the policies that you can apply on a Windows 10 operating system so this is really the the uh, the Bible of uh, of uh, of Windows 10. Okay, so you can go inside and have a, a complete list of all the uh, policies that are created uh, that that are available in uh, Windows 10. So he's actually opening my uh, group policies. So 68%, and it will be uh, sooner open. And we can see in this uh, in this. Um, in this uh, uh, Excel file uh, all the policies so so here it's very interesting because if you go here in new in Windows here uh, you can click on it here on this uh, let's do enable editing first and you can see of course all the ADMX here so if I click here I have all the uh, version okay so I have the uh, 803 1809 and I have all this here, all the that, that version. So this is very nice because you can really uh, see all the uh, new ADMX. Okay, I don't have for the last one, 1903, but you can find it here. So this is really very nice. Okay, instruction, security. You have a lot of information here, so you can download it and 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 really read it. So you have a complete, uh, um, you know. Um, information about uh, this new policy. You have the same one for the 903. So, here I tried really to uh, to show you and to display one of the most known uh, group policy computer setting. The first one is the loopback. So, loopback is so, so important. Uh, the loopback, you know, is when your user are not in the same uh, or you than your computer. This is the first thing that we'll see how to use loopback processing. And we'll see also uh, that if you don't use it, it will not be, of course, um, enabled. So some policy will not be applied. After, the second one in, is the interactive logon. You know, it's the inactivity limit because uh, each time you don't do anything, you know, it will lock your session. So for user, they can complain about that. We have a lot of them, we'll see them and we'll create them together. We have show first signing animation, we disable it, you know, it's for the welcome message for the Windows 10. We have all the power setting for the artist clip and video, this is very important, the slip setting. We can block also the, con the consumer Microsoft account user notification, so they cannot add a Microsoft account, it can be a problem. And of course, we have the way to disable Cortana and disable the store. I have a fantastic also URL coming from Microsoft and in this one you can see 
all the information so this is amazing all the information and all the um, the uh, the connection how can you configure that in Windows 10 so this is fantastic because uh, here I have for Windows 10 for example uh, 707 uh, where can I can I change all this information okay so for example if I want to change this I can change it by in UI in group policies or registry okay just an example on Cortana and search so here for example you can see that you know where is it wow amazing so I know now where to go in search and to disable all this about Cortana this is fantastic so I have the same thing for all the version here. For example, I can, you know, I don't know if I want to uh, to to uh, do configuration of my Microsoft account. I can do it also here. So he tell me where to go. Wow, fantastic! This is also a way. So you have all information here. It's a huge page because you have for the contact, the calendar, the phone calls, the uh, background apps the the you know so many uh, voice activation uh, you have a wi-fi sense you have a microsoft store so for example with microsoft store okay you know where to do it you know this is the policy disable store apps for example wow incredible so you have for all the setting you have also with the desktop experiments okay windows server 2016 here this is windows server and here is the server core, the nano server, so 2019 also. Uh, and you will see how to configure each setting, okay? So all is here, that in theme, uh, uh, insider preview bool. So yeah, this is amazing, okay? You have it here for all the version here. You have it for, this, for example, 1903, the same way. So wow, this is really a fantastic work thanks to Microsoft. So what we'll do in the next lecture is that we'll create all these policies together so you will see the best practice. Really follow it because this is the best practice and after that in the next lecture we'll see the same thing for the uh, user setting. Okay, Bye, but for the meantime we'll see how to configure loopback and all these settings. Thanks for all, bye bye!